So, um, after we have set up the rails, now I'm going to open the file of this keyboard that I already made. I just come to um, here to file. We can open. I have this uh, saving in the stop. I open. So this is the original file that we are going to use. Uh, already I am setting up the power and the, and the setting us for this machine. This is a 20 watts machine, so we need quite high power. And uh, now we come to the laser split. And uh, as you can see, we, we can move for different axes. So this is the split size. The split size in this one is going to be 170. It's going to, that represents 70 cm. So if we pay, pay the light, we are going to see the light in this area. This area is 17 cm. Um, so in this case, I will try to escape. And I will try to move to the right corner here. So I'm going to start to engrave from here to this direction. Okay. So we go escape. Um, this is already setting up. I know that if I if I, I already mark here, so it doesn't matter which which one I'm gonna engrave. Everything every time is gonna be the same. If I engrave in the same in the same way, that's the reason we should make a mold. We can make a mold and we just paste it here and then we just engrave every time. It's very easy if you make the mold with uh, acrylic or with wood, but in this case I don't have a mold, I just have a black, flat acrylic uh, palette, so I'm using a uh, tape. Uh, we proceed to start engraving. <laughs> 